There's an interesting medrash at the beginning of this week's Parsha that seems to be sharing just a cute play on words. Near the beginning of the Parsha, it says, Vayasev Elohim es ha'am, derech hamidbar <coughs> yam suf. That God led the Jewish people in a circuitous path towards the yam suf, towards the sea. And the medrash says that from here you see that even an Anib Israel, even a poor person, is chayiv lohasev is obligated to lean at the Seder. God led the people in, in sort of a roundabout, sort of tilted the people in a certain direction. So similarly, it's the, it's the same route. A person has to hasev, a person has to lean at the Seder, even if they're poor. Okay, it, it's it's difficult to understand the, the deeper significance of this medrash. The Ksav Sofer has a very unique thought about this medrash, and he explains... Imagine if we were Jews in that group leaving Egypt, beginning to take this circuitous route. We're told by the Mepharshim that the Egyptians assumed the Jews were utterly lost because the route that they were taking made no sense. So what would we have thought if we were in that traveling group? We very well might have thought, this is a disaster. Moshe doesn't know what he's doing. Uh, why is God have it in for the Jewish people? But in reality, there was a plan for all of this. Whether it be that God was concerned that if they would take a, a, a more direct route, they would be afraid and they would turn around. Maybe they would encounter uh, pe uh, groups who would challenge them and they would turn around. Maybe because they were taking a direct route, it would always be easy to just shrug their shoulders and turn back to Egypt. There's different approaches, different nuances in the commentators. But the bottom line is, this was all a plan from God, and it was all for the good. Because this way, the Jewish people didn't go back to Egypt. And of course, along this path, they ultimately, in the right place at the right time, had the remarkable showdown with the splitting of the sea as Egypt was uh, coming on their tail. So the Ksav Sofer says, what's the lesson of this Pasuk? The Medrash teaches us what the lesson is. If Chas V'Shalom, a person in our times, can't even afford an appropriate Seder, and somehow they, they, they may be kind of, sort of, if they ask enough or if they borrow enough, can string together for the matzah and for the wine, they're obligated to do so. And when they do so, they need to lean at the Seder like a king. Leaning like a king, my life is terrible right now. I can't even easily afford these things that I'm leaning for. I'm not a king. And says the Ksav Sofer, our answer to this person is, how do you think the Jewish people felt when they were on the securitist route? And had they only known that this was all part of the plan, there would have been no concerns. Our friend... Who knows what God's plan is? Who knows what tomorrow will hold? You might not have much today, but even so, you need to lean in celebration at the Seder. It's something for us to think about, regardless of what's going on in our lives. We all have challenges. We never, never know what the big picture is. Have a wonderful Shabbos.